Coach of Nigerian Super Falcons, Randy Waldrum, has expressed unwavering confidence in his team's ability to overcome challenges ahead of facing Africa's champions, South Africa, in the third round of the 2024 Olympics qualifiers on Friday, April 5th. He gave Nigerians this assurance while addressing the media at a pre-match press conference at the MK Abiola Stadium on Thursday in Abuja. The American coach said that he understands the importance of the match to Nigerians and they will do everything possible to get the tickets as he has a plan B in the game against South Africa that will give Nigeria the Olympic Games ticket. The Minister of Sports Development, Senator John Enno, also threw his weight behind the coach and his team, calling for massive support to encourage the Super Falcons to victory. Certainly understand the importance of the match. We don't really look back at what's happened the last two matches or really the last ten matches um, with our opposition because I think what we've worked with our players is to be present now in the moment with what we have. I think if you look back at those last two matches, we were, if you look at our roster, it was a completely different roster than we've had since the World Cup. Um, so I, I don't think you can put a lot of weight into that. Having said that, we certainly respect South Africa. We know what they bring. We know the talent that they, they possess. and. We know they're a, a, a great side, but we we feel very strongly that that we've got the uh, we're the team to beat, and we feel very confident going into the match. And um, you know, at this point, we're just excited uh, about tomorrow. It, it needs to hurry up. Earlier, the South Africans coach Desiree Ellis has said it's a do or die match for the Bayana Bayana squad for the Crunch Olympic qualifiers against Nigerian Super Falcons. Ellis and her captain Rafilo Jane expressed this confidence, saying it's been a long way for both countries and they are ready to give it their all. I think this started way before Banyana Banyana even came into existence uh, when Bafana Bafana was um, back in international football. And the reason I say it's a do or die because there's no other match after this. Whoever wins goes to the Olympics and that's why I say it's a do or die. I think the magnitude of the game itself is bigger because it's number one and number two in Africa and that's Nigeria and South Africa. And that's what makes it so big. When we drew them for WAFCON, the first game was important but it became a bigger game because it was Nigeria. I don't think there's any else untoward because I'm great friends with Mercy Akide, great friends with Florence, so um, I speak to Randy quite often, not about Nigeria and South Africa, of course, but other matters, but the rivalry stays on the pitch. I think I speak under correction, but great friends with, with Nigerians. Linda plays with Kanu, so if there's any malice there, I don't think the team will do well. Jenny, like Coach said, um, it just didn't start um, the previous World Cup, the previous World Cup. It's the number of years and the number of sacrifices, the hard work that we put through, throughout the years to get to where we are today and keeps on being a journey and having done well in the previous encounter in the World Cup, there's pressure to do well to go back to the Olympics. Uh, both teams, um, powerhouses in Africa would want to go and represent Africa. It's just unfortunate that the only one can go through, but um, we know the capabilities of both teams and we are not taking any game for granted. We're going out there to make sure that we can achieve our mandate. And with the weather, since we arrived in Abuja, it's been great, it's been hot, humid, um, different conditions to what we've been experiencing in our respective countries where we play. But um, it's good that we're able to come in early and acclimatize. And with regards to the game tomorrow, I think we will be fine with doing well. As these African giants clash on the pitch of play, football spectators and Africans are looking forward to an amazing outing in Friday, the 5th of April, March. Annie T. Patrick, Co. TV News, Abuja.